And welcome back to yet another awesome finger style lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're going to learn exotic Spanish style finger style. Okay, and we're going to do it in the key of D minor. Okay, but we are going to let go of the D minor for a second and concentrate on this. Okay, or okay. Now, if you couldn't hear the difference, listen again. Okay. Okay. It was two completely different chord progressions and you're gonna improvise and solo. Okay, all over it as well. So first of all, this is a lot easier than you might think it is. Okay, sounds complicated, but it's a lot simpler than you think, okay? Because this might be in the key of D minor, okay? So the chord progression you'd normally learn would be D minor, C, B flat, and A. But we're gonna take this and just play A and B flat. Sometimes instead of B flat, we're gonna play G minor seven, which is B flat with a G bass. That's all it is. So you see, I'm exerting okay, no effort here. I'm barring the A chord. Okay, I'm barring it. Okay, I'm barring the second fret, okay, and I'm playing strings two, three, four, and five. Okay, the fifth string is open. It's an A chord. And when I want to play B flat, all I do is bar the third fret on strings two, three, and four. Okay? I'm not playing the bass. Okay? I keep playing A. Okay? This is also a part of it. When you use the pattern that I will show you in a second, you don't really hear B flat over A. You hear this. Okay? You hear the chord separately. Okay? It's all psychological. You don't really pause on that B flat over A chord. So I'm the, the basic pattern that I'm using is this. Okay? I'm playing A, okay? I'm playing bass, chord, bass, bass, and then I play B flat. And then it's one of two things. I play A again. Sometimes I play bass chord, sometimes I just play the whole chord, okay, with the bass. So, okay, or, okay, bass, chord, bass, bass, chord, full chord, bass, chord, bass, bass, chord, bass, chord, okay, and you only play the B flat once. And then I improvise in between. I just improvise a little solo. Now, sometimes I would play G on the bass. Okay, right before the B flat. So it becomes G minor seven. Okay, it's still the bar on three for B flat, but I use my thumb for three on the bass. Okay, so this gives it a little bit more color. Okay, so you need to change the chord. So it's the same pattern, but listen to this A, bass, chord, and then I play A, G. Okay, A, G, and then the B flat chord. Okay, okay? so practice this. Okay. Okay, and then you can start improvising with it. Okay. Now, um, 
the soloing pattern is actually also very easy to memorize. You have two and three on strings two, three, and four. Okay? And you can also open the third and fourth strings. And that is more than enough to improvise a really cool piece. Now you can also add the chords, D minor and C. Okay? You can add them to the mix. But I'm just giving you an example, okay? You don't have to do it. You can just stay on A and B flat, okay? Now, the really cool thing here is that you also have the fifth fret. So you have five, three, two on strings two, three, and four, okay? Now, that five on the third string is a little bit strange if you try to play, okay, because it's chromatic, okay, but it's a part of the color, it's a part of the exotic Spanish style feel. Now, you can do whatever you like here, basically. Any trick would do, anything. Just be confident in your solo. You don't have to pull off, you don't have to hammer on. You can just play the notes. But what happens when you are a little bit tired of Okay? Even if you open the strings. Okay? What happens then? Sometimes you want to play bass notes as well. So the immediate thing you can do is play 3-1-0 on the two bass notes, on A and E. Okay? Yeah, you can play 3-1-0 whenever you want. So try that. And because you have 310 on the bass, you have 310 on the first string as well. So you have 5310 on the first string. But I actually rarely use it when I play this because we have so many options here that you don't really need to go for the first string. It might sound weird to you, but you don't always need the first string, especially when you bar. And you have all the notes right there. You don't really have to let go of the chord. Unless you want to play one on the fifth or the sixth rank. Now, if you really, really want to exotify the bass notes, Instead of playing 3-1-0 on the 5th string, play 4-1-0. Now, 
Now, nothing happens if you play four on the sixth string as well. Okay? It cr just creates a different mode. Okay? So, um, it seems complicated. It seems like a lot of, of information because this is a lesson and this is YouTube. But try it for yourself and see. Okay, this is basically our chord progression. Okay. Okay, you have two and three. You have five, two and three. And then you have bass notes. That's it. Okay, you have three, one, zero. Or four, one, zero. It's all the same shape. Okay, it's repetitive frets. It's a repetitive pattern. It's very, very pleasant and memorizable. Okay, just don't forget the G minor seven. It gives everything so much color. Once you get into it, it really flows, and it's uh, it's really easy to create really beautiful music using uh, this uh, this particular exotic Spanish style scale. It's uh, it it borders on Middle Eastern, but it's basically a Spanish style scale. It's if you can improvise using this scale on the. Okay, on the Spanish chord progression. By taking this and focusing on this, it's a little bit more exotic. But you can, yeah, you can play the whole D minor, C, B flat, A chord progression, that Spanish style chord progression, and you'll get completely different results. So try it, have fun with it, and check out my Break Your Boundaries course program, okay, my full course program. Um, it contains uh, this times a million, okay? It's over 60 hours of course modules uh, on anything from pure finger style to improvisation to theory to ear training to rhythm mastery and control to techniques, everything. Just check it out, lickandref.com slash courses the Breaker Boundaries course program. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.